everybody and welcome back to another episode of HTTV Live. I am Jack Boomsma. And I'm Elliot Hartford. <laughs> um, uh, so Elliot, how's this week been for you? Oh, I mean, this week's been pretty good. I had some up and downs. Uh, nights without sleep and nights with a lot of sleep. So, happens <laughs> to the best of us. It's yeah. kind of been a long week. We only had uh, us seniors and a family and two days of school last week, so that was pretty fun. Oh, that was amazing. Was with the cool. tournament one going on and everything. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. first we're going to send it off to Briar with Kids in the Elementary. See ya. Hello, I'm Briar Close for HGTV Live. I'm here with... Gabby. Okay, Gabby, what grade are you in? Second. Second grade. Um, what's your favorite subject in school right now? Reading. Reading. How are you liking school? Is it going good? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your favorite thing to do in recess then? Uh, play sharks and minnows. Playing sharks and minnows. Hello, and now I'm here with... Raya. Okay, Raya, uh, what grade are you in? Third. Third grade. What is how's school going? Good. Good. What's your favorite subject? Math. Math. What is your favorite thing to do in New Year's? Swinging. Swinging. Sounds like a blast. And now I'm here with Samuel. How you doing, Samuel? Um, what grade are you in? Good. Er, fourth. Good and fourth. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, how's school going then? Good. Good. Um, what's your favorite thing to do in school? Favorite subject, I guess I should say. Social studies. We're learning South Dakota history right now. One of my favorite classes to ever take in fourth grade. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do in recess then? Um, play paintbrush and play with the tennis ball. Nice. Back to the desk. Thank you, Briar, for those lovely interviews uh yeah we'll send it to who we say it to every guy jacob with the weather oh, okay jacob for your seven day forecast in hitchcock this week uh we got for monday for friday is a high of 35 and a low of 16. saturday is a high of 41 low of 13. and sunday is a high of 37 low of 20. uh monday we got a high of 47 low of 18. Uh, Tuesday is uh, high of 28, low of negative 1. Wednesday is high of 12, low of 0. And Thursday is high of 17, low of 1. <coughs> For your 7-day forecast in Tulare this week, uh, Friday is a high of 35, low of 16. Saturday is a high of 41, low of 13. Sunday is a high of 37, low of 20. Monday is a high of 47, low of 18. Tuesday is a high of 23, low of negative 1. Wednesday is a high of 12, low of 0, and Thursday is a high of 17, low of 1. Back to you. Thank you, Jacob, for that weather. Looks like we might have a little blizzard coming through here this next week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah be safe on this road. Maybe it really gets you. Looks like it might be moving a little bit more south than us, but we'll see what happens. Fingers but crossed. Now we will send it to Zach Gilbert with sports. Whammy. Now I'm here with the sports update. Uh, the past week uh, we had the 281 Conference Tournament. Uh, for the girls, they uh, played James Valley Christian first round, but they lost 33-55. Second round they played Sunshine Bible Academy, and they won 46-8. to And then third round in, they played in Huron against Highmore Herald, but lo ended up losing that 34-42. to uh, So for the for the week after, they played Redfield, or this last Tuesday, they played Redfield, and they lost 26-44. So, for the boys, the past week, uh, the boys started out the 281 playing Sanborn Central Woonsocket. They won that 64-54. Second round, they played Wolsey Wessington, losing 33-69. to Nice. Uh, third round, they played James Valley Christian, and... They won that 60 to 56, and the Patriots finished third, which is the best placing they've ever had. They've had you know since 2014, and the girls finished sixth. I forgot to mention. And this last Tuesday they played Redfield, and they lost that 39 to 51. Uh, coming up 
on Thursday, they will play Sully Buttes in Tulare, boys and girls, at, girls starting at 6, boys starting at 7.15. Thank you. Whammy! I'm Zach Gilbert from HTTV Live. I'm here with Coach Smith. Uh, Coach Smith, we had the 281 Conference Tournament last week. Uh, you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, the girls came out sixth place. Um, we started off playing James Valley, kind of came out a little bit slow, had a tough loss there. Turned around, played SBA, um, was really proud of our defense, held them to eight points, and then finished the conference tournament against Highmore Herald, who could have easily been in the um, championship game. They're a really good team. And, you know, we had a slow start against them, but really um, pushed forward the next three quarters, and I was really proud of how our team played, even though we came up with the loss. So. All right. Well, Tuesday night, I guess last night, you guys played Redfield. Uh, Want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Um, you know, the first half, I thought we played great defense. Um, they're a very talented team. And then, you know, coming off that second half, we started off really slow. They got their offense going. And then, um, you know, we just couldn't get anything to fall for us on offense. So um, I thought, though, at the end, though, the, towards the end of the fourth quarter, we kind of put the pieces back together and definitely can take some things away from this game moving forward um, to help us continue to get better for the rest of our season. Okay. Uh, coming up tomorrow, you have uh, Sully Buttes. Anything on that? Yeah, Sully Buttes is a very talented team. Um, the same group of girls have been kind of playing together for the last few years, so we should be pretty familiar with them. You know, they got some really quick guards up top, so we just got to make sure we contain, contain them, not let them get hot from the outside. And um, you know, like I said, it'll be a tough battle, but I know if we can stick to our defense, stay disciplined in that, and really get our offense going, um, we definitely should be able to compete. All right. Well, good luck. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Seth, for that lovely sports update. So, as always, <laughs> we got birth we got birthdays to say. So, I would like to wish happy birthdays to Patrick Maynard. Uh, Tamara Waldner, Gabriel Whiff, um, Sawyer Hofer, Bentley Knoll, and yeah, so happy birthday guys. And I have upcoming events. On January 28th we have Enhancement Junior High Girls and Boys Basketball in Tuller versus Sanborn Central Woonsocket. On the 29th we have Junior High Boys Basketball at Fulton and girls varsity basketball at Fulton. And then January 31st is junior high girls and boys basketball versus JVC. February 1st is girls and boys ver play JVC in Hitchcock. That's vars or, uh, JV and varsity. And then February 2nd is Groundhog's Day. Fancy. You don't forget about next week Wednesday. Next week Wednesday, the juniors and seniors that are in government will be traveling to Pier to be sitting in on the, the uh, House and Senate, act, basically. Yeah, stuff. They're going through House bills and Senate bills. and We're learning about the government, our senior government class. It's pretty fun, you know. So Went there last year. I had a blast. Yeah, goes yeah. That. But, uh, as always, folks, thank you for tuning into another episode of HTTV Live. I am Ron Burgundy. I'm Brian Pantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock, too, there.